All right, we are live. Not live, we are live, I guess. It's Thursday. Is it Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. We are at Taps on Main. This is a new spot in downtown Kansas City, right next to Tom's Town. Uh, what's our address here, Grant? 1715 Main Street. There you go. Formerly Ruins. I'm not going to think about the previous owner. <laughs> um, before that, it was Bulldog, right? Yep, Bulldog. Uh, God, it's been a long time. I remember the whole dog. So, we are here. Uh, this is Grant. He is the owner of Taps on Main. Uh, the other owner. Scan the other owner. This is my buddy. This is Jason. Um, yeah, so we're going to try this. Uh, first off, we're going to try the burger. It's a double burger. When do you guys, we're at a soft open. Do you guys go live, if you will, when? Monday. Monday, your, your hours. 11 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. Monday through Saturday. 11 a.m. to midnight on Sunday. Late night. Late night snacks. So far, we have had the fries, the pear salad, the pretzels, and the wings. All tremendous. All really good. Really good. Uh, I've been told about these wings for probably, I don't know, two years now? How long long I've known Jason? And he's told me how good these wings are. And I have to say, they are absolutely incredible. Um, twice fried. I love what I like about them, and you can probably dive more into this a little bit, because obviously you know the recipe, is that you taste the sauce, but there's not, it's not runny all over your hands. It's not. Why is that? Uh, well, twice fried has a little bit to do with that. Um, we fry them at a lower temperature uh, for 17 minutes okay. um, and then cool them down. And so then uh, they crisp up really nicely the second time around. Gotcha. And then we just throw them up in the broiler just for 30 seconds just to get that sauce kind of just baked in baked a little done. bit. Makes sense. Just a little bit. They're great. Uh, highly recommend at least those. This is a big burger review. Uh, one of the owners, off camera, has told me <laughs> some really high scores when he's texting me. So we're gonna try this thing. White American, this is a double uh, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. I took the tomato off, as always, don't like tomato. Uh, we're gonna try it. I'll let you know, this is this is a pressure review. I don't think I've ever felt so much pressure for a review. So, same. <laughs> <laughs> I will be honest. I'm always honest. Are you kidding? I can't, as I told my camera lady off camera, I cannot ruin my reputation by giving you a higher score if it's not a higher score. Yeah. There's a lot writing on this. A few people will watch this. Um, I really like it. I really like it. So I've rated, I think, I think we talked about this, but Howard's up the street around the corner. This is a grass-fed burger. I should mention that. Big difference in when you eat these things, you can tell the difference in quality. Howard's was a nine. Westport Flea Market, I think, was a nine or nine one. Brewery Imperial was an eight nine. Nine two. Hey, it's incredible. It hey. is so freaking good. I told you. I'm not just saying that. It is tremendous. Um, I'm gonna give you a close up because this actually reminds me a little bit. Shout out to Royal Lorf of the Parlor Burger. It's not quite Parlor level. In Minneapolis, but it does remind me of it a lot. Also, you don't have to go to Minneapolis to get it. <laughs> Correct. Where it's negative 50 right now. Really good. Well done, man. Great good job. Thank you. It's awesome. Great. I love it. Yeah. Good. I'm glad. Now I can come back and eat them and <laughs> not feel like I'm cheating out. Uh, also, can we show the beer wall real quick? This was left from ruins. It looks a lot better already. Um, you guys are gonna have quite a few different beers. On tap. Yeah, there are 40 on that wall, and we'll be rotating pretty much all 40 just constantly. Um, and then we've got 12 beyond the bar that are kind of our staples. So 50 plus beers? Is that yeah. accurate? 50, 50 plus beers on tap. Uh, quite a loaded menu so far we've had. Um, what else? So what, what inspired you? Real quick, I want to kind of shift the focus to you. Okay. I I know what you did prior to this. What inspired you guys to start this? To do this whole thing. Oh, well, I've always wanted to do this, uh, not necessarily this specifically or here. Jason and I have talked about it for years, and I always figured my first restaurant would be north of the river. That's where I'm from, that's where I live, um, and I think there's a lot of demand for good food up there that isn't right. necessarily being met right now. But right, when this totally opportunity right. came available, I jumped on it, and we were, I mean, we had this thing done pretty quick because I just knew this was a spot for us. And so we 
kind of made, like, we decided to do this before we really had the concept refined and everything. And so right. I got it. It's, it's really, been, it's been fluid. I mean, we wrote the menu three months ago. So right. that was that was pretty well set. But like the TVs, we didn't know we were gonna do all these giant TVs. Right. But I feel great it's, about it. Yeah. Um, the paint and this is more time I spend in here, the more I kind of, I guess, decided what I wanted it to be. Right. I was in here a month ago, I think, and this looks totally different than it did just a month yeah. ago. So it looks awesome. Yeah, uh, I appreciate that. How many TVs you got? Like what? Twelve. Twelve TVs. Yeah. It seems like a great place to watch a game. Obviously, we're watching uh, this Thursday in the middle of the afternoon. We're watching a rerun of the Super Bowl. Uh, was it 39? 39. 39. Shout out Terrell Owens. <laughs> Super Bowl 39. Played on Broken Lake. Uh, did you show that picture? That's the coolest thing I've seen so far down here. Um, obviously, parade day, all that. So, yeah. Um, I'll wrap it up. Keep it somewhat short. Oh, real estate. I do have to mention my listing. Uh, 641 Lake Point Drive goes live next. And, uh, I'm not have a calendar in front of me. February 13th, 445. Four bedrooms, four and a half baths in the shores, immaculate condition. We will be having an open house that weekend also to be determined exact days, probably Saturday and Sunday. Um, if you're looking for a buyer, or if you have a buyer, 445,000 Lakewood Shores, and it comes with a golf cart, a really nice golf cart, I must say. So uh, check out the open house. It's an awesome house. It will not last too long. So that'll wrap it up. Thank you for doing this. Thank Thanks you. for the food. Uh, tremendous burger. I love it. Good job. This is very, very pressure. So, <laughs> a lot of pressure. Very nervous. So, all right, that'll wrap it up. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, oh, real quick, I'm wearing. Yeah, it's it's baseball season. Technically, right? Is yeah. it baseball season it's now? Baseball season. It's baseball season. Um, go Royals. It's going to be another long year in Kansas City, but we might be somewhat, uh, I don't know, entertaining to watch. So, yeah, giving expectations. The streetcar. Streetcar. Just streetcar. Right. Yes, we're right off the streetcar. That helps anybody the address. I think we'll have the May. 29th best closer in the majors now, so that's good. Wait, is that Brad, that guy we signed, yeah, Brad Box, Boxberger? Boxberger? I just assumed Danny Duffy will be closer by the end of the year. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what I'm assuming happens, we'll check back in September. <laughs> Either I'll look like an idiot when he's got 15 wins or... So yeah, that'll wrap it up. Alright, uh, have a good weekend. See you guys.